Hey, what's going on out there, everybody? This is LJ, and this is Dinner for Two Reviews. And we got this Copper Chef Black Diamond Infused uh, pan here with Ceramitech Diamond Nonstick Coating. Uh, 3D Diamond Reinforced Ceramic Nonstick uh, Coating. Nothing sticks to the pan, okay? It says it right there. Nothing sticks to this pan. Just wash the safe. Effortless cleanup. Uh, PTFE and PFOA free for healthier cooking. Uh, <coughs> ideal for low fat using minimum oil. Rapid eating. Stainless steel induction plate heats up rapidly from edge to edge. For perfect even coking without hot spots. So this pan will not have no hot spots in it. Okay. Uh, 10 inch frying pan. Uh, modern crone handle. They said it doesn't get up. Yeah, that's cold right there. Yeah, this has been on the. This has been on this. Uh, this hot plate for about 8 minutes. I've been letting it cool. I've been letting it heat up. Now we're gonna do the same process we did with the other steak. And we're gonna take this steak. Oh yeah, oh yeah, oh yeah. This steak, I love steak. Mm -hmm. And like I said in my last video, you don't need a lot of seasons for steak. Okay, I know people like to put uh, all kinds of seasons on their steak. We don't need them. Stop doing that. All we need there's some salt. Put some salt on there. You can put as much salt as you want in here. It's going to cook into the steak. The more salt, the more taste. You don't have to worry about putting too much salt. Okay? Because that's salt. Because you're putting it before you sear the steak. Do not put seasons on a steak before you sear it. All you're going to do is taste salt. You already cooked the taste into the steak. Even if it does taste like cardboard. Okay. So we're going to evenly do this here. Okay. And we're going to put some pepper. Pepper is good for a steak. We're going to put it all over the steak. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Yeah, we got this. We got this. Mm -hmm. Alright. So we got our salt. We got our pepper on our steak so the next thing we do we sear it okay oh yeah you hear that you hear it want to move this down towards here once you have your steak in position you don't want to move a steak a lot when you have it in position okay you want to keep it on that same spot for five minutes don't rapidly move your steak. The steak will not cook as quick. If you keep moving the steak, you'll keep hitting different hot spots on the on, on the on the thing. You do not want to do that. You want to actually just keep it in that place. Set your timer for five minutes, and then we will be back. All right, just like in our last video, we're we're two and a half minutes into searing this, so we're actually gonna stick some butter on here, like we did before. We wanna put some salt and pepper on this side of the steak before we flip it. But remember, whatever you do. Do not put salt and pepper on your steak after you sear it. Your steak will taste nasty. It'll taste like you're just eating some kind of rock salt outside. You know? Like you're kicking somebody's ass and putting their stool on the sidewalk during a cold winter morning. I got some pepper here. I'm going to put some pepper on this. All right, so the reason why I put butter on there, and I don't put the butter in there after or, or, or before, is because 
you want to create a nice sear on your steak. You don't, you don't want to put butter in there before, okay? You want to create a nice sear, and then put your butter in there. You can put some basil in there, some thyme, uh, some garlic when you're putting your, uh, your butter in there, but I'm not going to do that. So, we're going to come back. I'll be back in about two minutes. Hey, what's going on out there, buddy? We are back, and this is dinner for two reviews. So, we're going we're gonna to actually flip our steak to the other side. Now, I'm seeing a different thing here. Seeing a different thing here. I'm not seeing uh, that good of a sear. And it says uh, rapid heating. So I'm not seeing that here. But whatever. This is a little different of a frying pan than the other one. The other one had little specks and stuff on it. So uh, we'll come back to it. I'll get back to these people. All right. And set the timer. All right, so it's been about five minutes. It's been a little over five minutes. And I've had it in this. Copper Chef Black Diamond Infused Pan. It says... Infused with thousands of real diamond crystals for maximum durability. Heats up to 30% faster than an ordinary pan. I'm not seeing this. Okay. In, in my uh, review here, uh, the other steak actually seared a lot better. And it actually, I think the pan is drawn a little bit of moisture out of the steak. So, and the steak has been sitting here for about 20, 25 minutes. So, I didn't cook the steak cold. Okay, ceramic tech non-coating. Nothing sticks. We're going to see about this, people. We're going to see. Okay. So, we're going to take this steak off. And we're going to see this. We're going to see if nothing sticks. Okay, so there's, there's an actual no sear on this it looks like I stuck this in the oven for they do the reverse sear uh, thing okay so it looks like I did the reverse sear I stuck that 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 steak in the oven it doesn't look like if you if you remember the last video that steak looks like no sear on it. There's no sear on that steak. Okay, it's just no caramel look. All right, so we're gonna actually pour this into this cup right here. Maybe sometimes it's good for a pan something to stick on a pan. But, hey, whatever. Again, we're going to take this pan and we're going to wipe it out. Just wipe it out with, with paper towels. We're going to see if anything's stuck to this pan. Which we already know, nothing stuck to the pan. Okay, we already know this, that nothing stuck to this pan at all. Okay, that was so easy to wipe off. Okay, that was very easy to wipe off. It looks like when I just took it out of the... Whoa, okay, so... If you're cooking an egg, okay, I recommend this pan. If you're cooking an egg, I recommend this pan. I don't recommend this pan for cooking steak. 
Okay, I don't recommend it. Uh, copper chest, black, diamond infused. What I recommend you cook a steak in. Where's that pan? I recommend you cook a steak in this granite diamond infused pan, not this uh, black diamond chef, okay? They're both two, two good products. They became clean with two wipes, maybe three, but I don't recommend this pan to cook a steak in. As you see, there was not a good sear on that. Okay, not at all. This pan made a better sear on the steak. And I believe that that pan actually got hotter. Okay, this pan got hotter than this pan. So in reality, there are more cold surfaces on this pan than there was on this one. This one got way more hotter. I, I, and as you see right there, you know, and then that right there, very different. Uh, I don't recommend, it says you can put these in the dishwasher. If you were dumb, you're an idiot, you put these in the dishwasher, all right? Just wipe them out. I believe every time you use a little bit of oil in these pans, you season them. Do not put cookware in the dishwasher, okay? I don't recommend it. Like I said, every time you cook with these, I know they said don't put no butter, don't put no seasoning. But what I like to do is, okay, I like to put a little butter in here, put it in the oven for a little bit, let it season into the pan. Okay, both of them, let it season into the pan and then wipe them clean. Do not put your flatware, do not put your cookware inside the dishwasher. Okay, that's like putting a cast iron skillet in the dishwasher. You can get fired from many jobs for doing this. All right. Thank you out there, everybody, and have a wonderful day. We're signing out. This is Dinner for Two Reviews.